Hi, I'm Jacob Koshi and I cover science, environment and clean energy for the Hindu and I'm based out of Delhi. Here are some of my initial impressions from Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman's interim budget speech. Now, this is an interim budget and expectedly was low on specifics. However, one of the things that really leaped out was the announcement of providing 1 crore households with 300 units per month of free electricity from rooftop solar sources. Now, this is a significant announcement because it follows from Prime Minister Narendra Modi's similar announcement following the consecration of the idol at Ayodhya a few weeks back. He had said that 1 crore households would be provided with rooftop household solar electricity. Now, let us understand some facts about rooftop solar households and provision of similar electricity in India. India has about 2 gigawatts. A gigawatt is about 1000 megawatts. So India has about 2 gigawatts of installed rooftop solar electricity all over the country. India has about 25 to 30 crore households. Now, if all of those households were to get rooftop solar power, it would require 637 gigawatts. That's 6 lakh 37,000 megawatts of installed rooftop solar electricity. The very fact that only about 0.3% of those of that actual potential has been utilized for rooftop solar stands to reason that barely 8 to 10 lakh households all across the country have rooftop solar. Another way to look at it is this. The finance minister's speech says that nearly 300 units of uh, solar electricity per month per household would be provided. 300 units is a lot. That's the monthly consumption of a very rich state like Delhi. Nearly 80 to 85 percent of households across the country only use about 100 units per month. So to go from 100 units per month to 300 un units or similarly to go from 8 to 10 lakh households to 1 crore households is a huge onerous task. And there is no clearly defined timeline for by when this goal of 1 crore households will be made. Another important announcement in the field of clean energy has been the finance minister's commitment to have viability gap funding for offshore wind projects. Now, offshore wind projects refers to wind power plants that are situated on seabeds or off the coast of states like Tamil Nadu. The finance minister said that she would provide viability gap funding. That is, it is she will she's going to help private sector match their commitment by helping them provide nearly one gigawatt of wind power installed. Again, the specifics are unclear, but this could be beneficial for several states. Tamil Nadu, for instance, has said that it would be installing offshore wind power projects worth 7 gigawatts uh, in the days and months to come. So these are my first initial impressions and hopefully the final budget that will be provided after the new government comes in term will have more details on this. For more such interesting analysis and perspectives, continue watching the Hindu's other podcasts in Focus and the Pali.